So in the Hansen Group, we study environmental chemistry, atmospheric chemistry, with the goal of trying to help us understand where pollution comes from and how it's removed from the environment. Uh, ideally, by answering these questions, then we can help clean up our environment and make our air cleaner and safer to breathe. And so by cleaning up our air, we can increase our uh, lifespans and also have a better quality of life um, at, at the same time. So this is an important process. It's an important um, research that needs to be done. We're going to make our way into the heart of our air sampling campaign. And it houses a suite of instruments that allow us to measure the sources of pollution contained in the atmosphere. This is an ambient ion monitor. This is called a scanning mobility particle sizer. I, you should have like shown them the real tools. I mean, we use this all the time, we use this all the time. <laughs> we also develop our own instruments here. And here's one of my graduate students, Paul Cropper, PhD students that is working on developing a brand new instrument to measure organic marker compounds. So I've been working on this for a couple of years now. Here there's, there's a little filter inside of here that concentrates all the pollution, so the particulates. And then we heat this up real hot, we desorb it into the GCMS, and we analyze for the compounds. And we test these instruments against an environmental chamber. This is a large Teflon bag that's about 30 cubic meters in volume. And in this bag, we can put in all the precursors for pollution. There's a bank of UV lights that are housed over the bag, and when we turn on those lights, it mimics uh, solar radiation, and we can photochemically age all the, the pollution that we have in this bag until we get that pollution just right. Then we can sample that pollution, and again, give us some understanding as to the processes that take place to, uh, to change this pollution into its different forms. As you can see, it's kind of hazy today. Uh, during the winter here in Utah, we get huge inversions, so it's, it's a really big problem during the winter. Getting rid of that smog over there, that'd be great. Back in the day when I was a student, uh, I learned that uh, I was able to retain the most information and actually learn things when I worked with mentors, and I've had a series of great mentors in my life. Dr. Hans is a great advisor. He's uh, not just an advisor, he's a mentor. He really teaches us um, to solve problems and to think through problems. So the work I do here prepares me for the future because I do everything. Uh, I fix problems with the instrument. I do programming. I take all these instruments and set them up out in the field and learn how to fix all the instruments. And so I feel like when I get to spend time with my graduate students, not only just lecturing to them about important principles, but actually being down with them, conducting their research projects, helping them through as we come up with creative solutions to problems is the best way that they can learn how to be the best researchers that they can. So my feeling is, is that by spending time with them, that's when real learning can take place.